This is Peter Arender. I'm Chief Investment Officer at Fortress Fund Managers. It's been an, an exceptionally interesting uh, year so far, and not all in good ways. I have to report that this week has been uh, another exceptionally volatile one with the war in Ukraine, itself representing significant geopolitical tensions, but also in the financial markets, huge upward pressure on oil, other commodity prices, uh, and so on. Uh, in our market, we call them short squeezes when the shorts get squeezed and prices get pushed uh, hugely higher uh, due to these kinds of disruptions. We saw uh, more bans on dealing uh, with Russian companies, buying Russian energy and so on out of the US and the UK, and more and more individual companies exiting their operations in, in Russia, none of which is positive for financial markets. But I think in general, all of the things that are happening now are generally making all of us as humans a little bit poorer for this experience. Even before the conflict in Ukraine, it's worth noting there were significant inflation pressures already, and this was a concern for investors. They can tend to squeeze profits. They can affect valuations that investors want to pay for uh, for financials or for, for financial assets like stocks. And for us here in Barbados, you know, we're not immune to these things. We're going to feel these inflation pressures uh, as well. Just this morning, the U.S. Consumer Price Index, a measure of inflation, uh, was reported at up 7.9% year over year. You could say, well, all of that is just energy prices. Well, a lot of it is, but they have another series that excludes food and energy, and that series was up 6.4% year over year. So there are already inflation pressures there. Not surprisingly, central banks around the world are leaning towards tightening. A couple have been tightening recently. Canada raised rates. In Europe, we're seeing tightening happen as well. So these are things that are not generally friendly for financial markets. Having said that, the operating environment for most global companies continues to be okay. In our portfolios, we're going to see our equities down a little bit this week. We're still holding in substantially better than the market uh, year to date with only a small decline. And we're going to see a little bit of pressure in bonds again this week as interest rates rise. Long term, still constructive on good, high quality companies, the kinds that we own. And we certainly hope that the bad news can start to get a little bit better uh, globally soon. That is it from here. 